Welcome back. All right, so one game down, 13 to go today. So very long, busy day for me today. Uh, this was the Florida Panthers and the Buffalo Sabres. Now, if you are down on the Sabres and you're like, oh, they're not going to be any better. Today's game, you could just look at the score and you could say, see, the Sabres aren't any better. But I'm an optimist. I, I think this is a game that last year would have been 6-2, to 7-1 to kind of score. And I, I thought the Sabres showed a lot of fight. Um, early in the season, the one thing that drives me nuts is when I, I hear about teams, you know, that were outside the playoff picture and announcers will be like, well, they've got to make up 30 points from last year. Well, you know, they're not going to make up. Everybody starts from zero. So for the players, you can't focus on last season. you got to focus on this season. And I think the Sabres are doing a good job of that, at least early in the year. So it's Knight versus Comrie in this one. Uh, both of them making their first starts of the season. In Comrie's case, his first start with the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, Bennett is denied and close, and then we get a power play for the Panthers. And one thing that sinks Buffalo today is a lack of discipline. Uh, so Ekblad's robbed, dangerous power play. It's killed off by Buffalo, but it manages three shots. And it's kind of a warning that, you know, this is a good power play. Don't take too many penalties. Uh, Paterka then mishandles one on a rush. The shots are 5 nothing for the Panthers, six minutes into it. Uh, Balsers has a slot shot that's held. It's all Florida to this point in the game. Uh, Dylan Cousins gets the first shot for the Sabres at 7 minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, there's a near miss for, for Barkov on a rush. And then Nick Cousins is denied on a turnover chance. So last night, the last game of the night, was San Jose, Carolina. You had Svechnikov versus Svechnikov. And in this one, it's Cousins versus Cousins. Spelled completely different, but pronounced the same. So that was fun. Uh, Alex Tuck would end up opening the scoring for Buffalo from Yoki Haru and Comrie at 10.35. So another goalie with an assist. There seems to be a lot of goalie assists early in the season here. Uh, and it was a f fast break during a line change for Florida. So good good mark for, for Buffalo here in recognizing that they had that, that advantage and they take it. Uh, Panthers try to answer. Reinhardt's tonight on a two-on-one. There were a lot of uh, odd man chances that start right about here. Ocposo was a chance kicked out as they press. And then Colin White with his first in Florida already looking like a steal for them, from Lusterinen and Lundell at 14.03. So that line has been very effective for, through the first two games for Florida. Ties it up. Uh, Barkov then can't bury on a two-on-one. He just ran out of room. By the time he got the puck, he had very little space left. Uh, Samuelson gets shaken up on a net crash. He was okay. It looked scary at the time. Uh, Gudis tips one wide on a three-on-one. So two-on-one, two-on-one, three-on-one. It just, yeah, there's too much of that. You can't do that against Florida. Uh, things get scrappy at center ice. Kachuk and Tuck are involved. Kachuk was involved in a lot of this uh, today, really, you know, doing what he does. So uh, the Sabres come out of that with a power play. There's a shorthanded three-on-two for Florida that ends it. Uh, good penalty kill, but uh, Kachuk ends up, and, and or I should say good penalty kill, and Kachuk ends up scoring out of the box. So Kachuk was the one that goes to the penalty box, and in the midst of that, Fraka... Uh, ends up with a roughing call, gets out of the box, and scores from Forsling at 18.09. So that's a bit of a kick in the pants if you're Buffalo. They're now down 2-1. to one. And they acted like they took a kick because Gergensens fights back. Uh, he scores from Paterka and Darlene at 18.51. And then there's a 2-on-1 before the period's out. Bryson defends that. Way too many odd man rushes for Florida. But after one, the score's 2-2. Two -two. So second period, early power play for the Panthers. Bennett has a long shot that's blocked, but Ekblad. Ekblad scores from Reinhardt and Barkov at 231. So Florida, uh, again, showing this year they're going to be pretty intimidating from an offensive perspective. And the Sabres needed to answer, uh, and they pressed to do so. Skinner's robbed at the net, right against the net. Uh, that was kind of decided to be the save of the game by the Buffalo broadcast. Uh, Tuck fires one high on a rush. Uh, the Panthers go back to the power play. Uh, it's killed off, and the Sabres, I thought, killed that one off like a team that understood they could not allow another goal there. Uh, Panthers press after it ends. There's another power play. The Sabres very undisciplined. Uh, but then they did kill that off, and they end up with a power play after that. Uh, then we had a shorthanded chance for Reinhardt. His shot misses high. Of course, Reinhardt against his former team. Uh, it's always interesting to see how he does. Um, so that's killed off and then Comrie makes a big save right after that's done. Uh, the Sabres press with six and a half minutes left, but with 249 left, the Panthers get another power play. So it's just, and at this point the fans are fed up, but I mean, they're penalties. So Montour ends up scoring on the power play, former Buffalo Sabre from Lundell and Reinhardt. 
at 1745. So Reinhardt with a couple of helpers in this one, and it's four to two. Uh, he buried that, that puck in loose. So the puck's loose. Montour comes in from the point to bury it. Nice play by him. But before the period's out, at 1901, Rasmus Dahlin with his second goal in two games. Uh, he puts that one in and makes it a 4-3 to three game. And then the Sabres pressed for the tie before the period's up. So coming out of the second period, uh, the, again, while Florida has the lead, Buffalo's showing some fight back here. Uh, third period, Middlestad has a rush chance. That's broken up. Uh, the Panthers get a power play, and this is where kind of a, a, a parade of penalties take place. Uh, we have a minute and 37 seconds of four on four. Uh, then we had uh, the Sabres get a four on three power play, which of course, because of the way all the penalties are called, becomes a five on three. And Knight with a couple of really big saves during that five on three, uh, which was not a very long one. And of course, because those penalties are very close to one another, it quickly became a five on five and the parade came to an end. The shots, seven minutes into the period, not surprisingly 3-0 in favor of the Sabres because you have a 5-on-3, 4-on-3, and all this penalty stuff. It's not a surprise Panthers didn't have a shot to that point. They would remedy that, though. Uh, the Panthers press. They're kept to the outside. Forsling then had a shot. That was held. Uh, effective defense, I thought, by both teams through the first half of that period, despite that 5-on-3, despite all the penalty issues. Uh, both, both, both penalty kills, power plays... The 5-on-5, five 4-on-4 five, four four play, all of this was done well defensively. The offense, eh, but the defense was there, which again feels a little different for Buffalo from the way they started last season. So uh, Kachuk has a rush chance, that's defended. Panthers press with six minutes left. Uh, Dylan Cousins has a net drive, that saved. The Panthers do press with a minute and a half left. So what this does is it puts you in a situation where if you're Buffalo, you can't get the goalie out. You could see that Comrie was trying to call out to the bench with about two minutes left. They, they couldn't establish zone time. So for the uh, Buffalo Sabres, they, they just did not have that opportunity to make it a six on five early enough. So there's a timeout by the Sabres with 49.6 seconds left. They face off those at center ice, so you can't pull the goalie there. Uh, they did pull the goaltender with 25 seconds left. And while Buffalo had some looks, they could not tie the game. And at the horn, Things get kind of brawly. So for, for a game between a team that's seen as a Stanley Cup contender and one that's seen as not a playoff team, this game ends up being kind of close. Uh, the shots favored Florida all the way through, but you can see how the defense tightened up. 16-13 to 13 in the first for Florida, 14-9 to 9 Florida in the second, and only 7-5 to 5 in the third for Florida. So the final shots are 37-27, to 27, your power plays. Florida 2 for 6, Buffalo 0 for 4, special teams. The reason that Buffalo loses this game. Five on five, they were right there with Florida. The hits were only 12 to 11 for Buffalo. Uh, the hits total seems kind of low considering how physical this game felt. Uh, a lot of um, extracurricular activity after whistles. So Spencer Knight saves 24 out of 27 in the victory. Comrie saves 33 out of 37 in the loss. And yeah, this might be an interesting one to watch. The season goes along. These teams didn't like each other at the end of it. And Matthew Kachuk was in the middle of all of that. So, uh, including at the end. And so was Darlene. Darlene was involved too. Uh, seems to enjoy goading other guys into taking penalties. So, there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.